Hello everyone, welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can trigger your test ng test through Jenkins so that you can integrate your test project with Jenkins to schedule your daily builds, which can run on schedule basis or whenever there is a new deployment, then the test build can be triggered, which will test the state of the latest version of the application. So today we'll see how we can trigger our test ng project from Jenkins. So let's get started. This is my Jenkins dashboard page. And here, first of all, I need to add an item for the test ng project. But before adding the item, let's move to the test ng project, which I have. So this is the test ng Selenium project I have. And in this project, I'm using Maven as a build dependency or build management tool. And now let me move to my pom.xml file. If you want to run your test ng test using test ng.xml, which I have available here. So to run the test ng XML file as part of Maven build steps used to run the available test in a project. Here I'm using the Maven Surefire plugin to run my test ng XML file. And to run testng.xml file to further run testng test. So, what we need to do is we need to add the configuration node under the Surefire plugin, followed by the suit XML files. And under the suit XML files, we need to add the node for the suit XML file. And then inside that node, we need to provide our testng.xml file. In my case, I have this test ng XML file placed at the root location of the project. So I have given only the file name that is test ng XML. If in case this test ng XML is placed somewhere under, let's say, under source folder, then what we can do is we can provide the source folder name then followed by test ng XML file. But in the current case, I'm going to provide the testng.xml directly because it is placed at the root level of the project. So this is what we need to do to run our testng test using testng.xml file through the Maven plugin. We need to add this entry under the configuration and then under configuration, it is suit XML files and then suit XML file. So once we do this entry, then we'll run the test command using this plugin, which will run the test ng XML placed over here. And then this test ng XML is gonna run the test available under runner class. Now let's move to Jenkins again to see how we can run our test ng test from Jenkins. Because I'm using Maven for my build dependency management tool, so what I'm going to do is First of all, I need to add Maven plugin so that I can add the Maven build step to run my project. And to install the plugin, let me go to the Manage Jenkins. And then here under the Manage Jenkins, let's move to the Manage plugins. And then here under the Available tab, I can search for Maven. So here you can see that we got the Maven integration listed in the search results. This plugin provides a deep integration between Jenkins and Maven. It adds the support for automatic triggers between projects. So using this plugin, we can trigger our Maven project. Click on this checkbox to install the Maven integration and then click on install. So in a few minutes, this plugin will be installed. And once it is installed, then we can run our Maven project. Now the plugin has been installed. The next thing which we need to perform is, first, let's move to the dashboard. And here, currently I don't have any test ng project created. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna create a new item first. And I'm going to name this item as test ng selenium. 
after that let me click on freestyle project and then i'll click on ok so the project has been created now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on advance and then use a custom workspace so i'm going to add my project directory over here and this is my test ng project which i want to run so what i'll do is i'm going to copy this location and then i'll paste it under custom workspace after that i'll go to the build step and then in the build step i'm going to look for the maven build step you can see that here we have an option for invoke top level maven targets we are getting this option because we have installed the maven integration plugin once we install that plugin then we'll get this option in the build step and now what we need to do is we need to create our goal and in that goal what command i'm going to run is so if you have executed your test from the command prompt then in that case what you could have done you could have opened a command prompt at your project root location and then you would have typed the command as mvn test to run the test or you could have run the mvn clean to clean the project first also you could have used both mvn clean and test to run the test in the project so the same command i am going to run as a clean test from jenkins itself and for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to type the command as clean test this is my maven goal and i need to specify where the pom.xml file is placed as my pom.xml file is placed at the root level and this is my workspace and under this workspace the pom.xml file is placed so i'm going to provide the file name only as pom.xml over here so that's it what we need to do and now let me click on save now let me run the project and for that i'm going to click on build now to trigger a new build you can see the build has been triggered and now if i go inside the build to see the console output then you can see currently it is downloading all the dependencies which we have provided in our pom.xml file so this will take a few minutes to install all the dependencies into the jenkins workspace and once the dependency installation is done then it will run the available test in the project now here you can see it says that it's running the test suite and here the test execution has been started you can see it has opened the chrome browser so this is running the test in the background currently i have two tests available in that project so this will run both the test and once done then we'll get the status over here whether the build is pass or fail or do we have any test fail or not now you can see that the test execution is done you can see the total test run is 2 and there is no failure and this build is successful so this is how we can trigger our test ng test project from jenkins this was one of the ways to run the test ng project we can also run it in another way i mean without installing maven integration plugin so now if i go to the configuration again currently i have added a build step to invoke top level maven target and where i have given the goal as clean test now let's say you don't want to integrate the maven plugin then in that case what we can do to run that project 
we can add another build step instead of Maven. And the step which I'm going to add is Windows batch command. And in this batch command step, I'm going to run a batch file. But before running the batch file, first we need to create a batch file at project location. So let me open a notepad over here. And then in this batch file, I'm going to type the command as mvn clean test. And then I'm going to save this file as run.batch file. Let me select the file type as all files and click on save. So you can see that the run.batch file has been created. And now if I go to the Jenkins again, then let me provide the run.batch file over here. So this is the file which will be run as part of this build step. Let me click on save. And now let me click on the build now to trigger a new build. Build has been triggered. Let's move to the build. Then to the console output. You can see it executed the run.pack file. And you can see now it is started Chrome browser and it is executing the test. So this is how you can run your test ng test. Either you can add a Maven step in the build or you can add a batch file step which further contains all the Maven steps which you want to perform. And then it will trigger the batch file which will trigger the execution. So the execution has been completed. And now if I go back to the project. So here I have triggered two builds. This is the first build and this one is the second. In the first build, we have used Maven as build step. And in the second build, we have used a batch file as a build step. So that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Put your comments in the comment box. Also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.